Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to find the mean, median, and mode of ungrouped data. So any measure indicating the center of a set of data is called measures of central tendency. Okay? So mean is the most popular among the measures of central tendency for it is widely used. Then mean is also called the average. So, makukuha natin si mean by getting the sum of all numbers divided by n. So, yung n, that's the number of samples. Okay? So, in symbol, yung x bar, that is our mean, which is equal to the summation of x. Ito yung ating sum of all numbers or sum ng lahat ng ating data divided by the number of samples or yung n. Okay? Next, we have the median. It is the middle score for a set of data that has been arranged in order of magnitude. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kailangan naka-arrange yung data natin in ascending or descending order bago natin malocate si median. Okay? So, median is denoted by this symbol. So, para makuha natin yung location ng ating median, gagamitin natin yung formula na n plus 1 over 2. Okay? So, yung n, that is the number of data. Nakuha? Next is yung ating mode. It is the measure or value which occurs most frequently in a set of data. Then, kumbaga, ito yung parang paulit-ulit. Okay? So, it is the value with the greatest frequency. So, meaning, kung sino yung may pinakamaraming uh, paulit-ulit na number, yun yung ating mode. Nakuha ba, guys? So, let's have example number one. The set of data shows the age of nine teachers of Muntinlupa National High School. Then, find the mean, median, and mode. So, una, computein natin si mean. So, again, ang formula natin but ng mean is equals to the summation of x. Ito yung, yung x is yung mga data natin over n. Okay? So, yung n kung ilan ba yung data natin. So, pag sinolve natin yan, ipagpa-plus nyo lang yan, guys. We have 39 plus 24, plus 21, plus 26, plus 32, plus 25, then plus 23, plus 50, then plus 26. Okay? Then, i-divide natin by N. Yung N is yung number of data. So, pag binilang nyo yan, guys, uh, we have 9 data. Okay? Or yung ating 9 teachers. Okay? So, pag pinag-plus natin yung mga numerator, so, ang total niyan is 266, then we have over 9. Okay? So, pag dinivide natin yan, 266 divided by 9, so, ang min natin ngayon is equals to 29.56. Nakuha, guys? So, next is yung ating median. So, again, median is the middle score when the data are arranged in ascending or descending order. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan i-arrange muna natin yung mga data. So, this time, uh, gawin natin from lowest to highest. Okay? So, as you can see, na 21 yung ating lowest value. So, meaning, that will be our starting point. Okay, so we have 21 followed by 24. Then we have, uh, I sorry, we have 23. Then 24 followed by 25. Then we have 226. Then 32. Then we have 39. And last is yung ating 50. Nakuha? 
So, next is pwede na nating uh, gamitin yung formula ng ating median para makuha yung location mismo ng ating median. Tama? So, ang n natin dito is 9. So, that is 9 plus 1 over 2. So, pag pinag-plus natin yung numerator, we have 9 plus 1, that is 10. Then, divided by 2, that is equals to 5. Ibig sabihin, yung median natin is pang lima doon sa ating distribution. Okay, so since na-arrange na natin, pwede na nating bilangin yan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Nakuha guys. So therefore, ang median natin is equals to 26. Okay? Nasundan ba class? Next is yung ating mode. So again, mode is denoted by this symbol. Then by definition, mode is the most frequently data. Tama? Sino yung uh, pinakamaraming uh, frequency doon sa ating data, yun yung ating mode. So dito, kung mapansin nyo, we have 226. Tama? Then the rest ng data natin is tag-iisa lang. So, therefore, ang mode natin is equals to 26. Nakuha, guys? So, next, let's have example number 2. The following are the number of students per section of grade 11 of Muntinlupa Science High School. Then, find the mean, median, and mode. Okay, so, unayin natin, guys, si compute yung ating mean. So, again, mean is denoted by this symbol. We have x bar. So, that is equals to the sum of all data. That is the summation of x over n. Okay? Again, yung n, that is the number of data. Okay? So, pag sinabing sum of all data, so, ibig sabihin, uh, ipa-plus natin lahat ng ating given set of data. Okay? So, that is 45 plus 45 plus 46 plus 48 plus 48 plus 50 plus 51 plus 53 plus 54 plus 55 plus 56 and plus 58 okay so after natin magawa yung numerator i-divide natin yan sa n so, ilan ba yung data natin? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, meaning, ang n natin is equals to 12. Tama? So, ngayon, pwede ninyo nang uh, i-compute yung ating numerator. So, pag pinag-plus nyo lahat yan, guys, that is equivalent to 609. Okay? Then, divided by 12. Tama? So, to get the value of mean, i-divide yun na lang ngayon yan, 609 divided by 12, that is 50.75. Okay, so therefore, the value of our mean is 50.75. Okay, so next is the median. Again, median is denoted by this symbol. Then, to get the location ng ating median, is i-apply natin yung formula na n plus 1 over 2. Tama? So, ito yung location ng ating median. So, since naka-arrange na yung ating set of data in ascending order, so, hindi natin yan kailangan galawin. Tama? So, pwede na kagad natin i-apply yung ating formula. So, again, ang n natin is 12 plus 1 divided by 2. So, pag kinompute natin yan, we have 12 plus 1, that is 13 divided by 2. Tama? So, pag dinivide nyo ngayon yan, guys, 13 divided by 2, that is 6.5. So, ibig sabihin, si median is makikita between... 6 and 7. Okay? So, pag binilang natin yan, guys, we have a 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5, 6, then 7. So, si median daw is between 50 and 51. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung exact value ng ating median, ang gagawin nyo guys, is ipagpa-plus natin yung dalawang value na yan. That is 50 plus 51. Then, i-divide natin by 2. Okay? So, 50 plus 51, that is 101 divided by 2. So, pag dinivide niyan, yan, that is 50.5. Tama? So, therefore, ang value ng ating median is 50.5. Nakuha, guys? So, last is yung ating mode. So, mode is denoted by this symbol. Tama? So, again, by definition, mode is the most frequently data. Siya yung may pinakamaraming or may pinakamataas na frequency. Okay? So, kung titignan nyo yung data, guys, uh, we have two 45s. Then, we have two 48s. Tama? Then, the rest ng ating data is tag-iisa na lang. Tama? So, meaning... Ang mode natin is we have 45 and 48. Okay, so dalawa yung mode natin dito. So, ibig sabihin, yung mode natin is bimodal. Okay? Pagka ang mode nyo guys is dalawa, ang tawag natin doon is bimodal. Then, pagka ang mode nyo is isa, kagaya nung sa example number 1 natin, ang tawag doon is unimodal. Okay, unimodal, one mode. Then, pagka ang mode naman natin is three or more, ang tawag na natin doon is multimodal or multimodal. Okay, ito yung two, uh, three or more modes. Nakuha? So, naiintindihan ba guys kung paano kunin yung ating mean, median, and mode ng ating ungrouped data. So, this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!